Isn't she sexy? Hey everybody, Brian with Boathouse Smokers. I had posted a couple of pictures of this uh, of this pit this morning on social media and my phone has been blowing up nonstop. So I figured I'd do a little walk around video and uh, give everybody some info on it. Uh, it's basically just one of our backyard offsets. Uh, the cook chamber is 36 wide by 22 deep by 30 inches tall. Uh, it's all quarter inch steel. The firebox is insulated. It's double wall quarter with two inches of insulation on the inside. This particular customer, uh, he wanted the off-road package. And if you're doing competition cookers or anything like that, the off-road package is definitely a must. You, I mean, this thing will roll in the grass, it'll roll in the mud, it'll roll in the gravel, and it makes it easier for one person. I mean, one person can push this thing up in the back of a trailer to load it. The weight on this guy is about 1,100 pounds. So uh, that off-road package is really, really... Uh, <laughs> it's almost required if you're going to be moving these things. Let me give you a look on the inside of the cook chamber. This is our two rack. And uh, racks on this guy is 35 by 21. And it is a reverse flow. If you look down in there, you can see the baffle plate. The baffle plate runs down, and at the very bottom, it forms a reservoir. And, uh, we weld a plate in the bottom of there to stop all that grease from going back toward the firebox. And if you look down underneath, you have a ball valve. Makes draining grease really, really, really easy. Uh, this guy also has the extended stack on it. Uh, it's about eight foot four to the, from the ground to the top of the stack. So we put a brake on this stack. It's got a hinge on it, so it actually just folds down uh, right on top of the, uh, the cook chamber. I'll give you a look inside this firebox. Check out that half inch thick door that we put on all of our offsets. Kind of our signature thing. All right. There you go. And we get, we get all the time, everybody says, well, why don't you put prices online? And I'll tell you, the reason why we don't put prices online is because the price of steel is changing daily. Uh, I can get a quote on steel today, and, and when I go pick it up on Monday, you know, the prices have changed. So we don't put any posts, you know, we don't post any prices online anymore due to the fact that prices change daily so if you're interested in one of these uh give us a call shoot us a message and we'll walk you through all the details and the options and everything else that goes along with it so uh hope everybody has a good christmas and uh this is the last one going out of the shop this year so uh we'll see you guys next year and i hope everybody has a good one